topic is going to be about BBLs. Um, before we get into this video, I did start off my brows. Yes, bitch. And I don't have a table, so this is actually sitting on my suitcase. So if I even like cough, this whole shit coming down. But um, like I was saying, I did create a Poshmark for you know those of you guys that are interested in buying some of my gently used clothes and or sneakers that I've never worn or things like that. Um, another thing, I am starting to sell some wigs because your bitch is about to get a BBL and a bitch need to rack up some money. So if you don't know, well then now you know. I am about to move to Germany. Um, I'm probably, I'm going to see when I get my orders if I have an early report date. If I can report early. So if I could report early, I can leave in December and not March. I can go on PCS leave. Okay, anyway, whatever. Y'all don't understand what I'm talking about. With that being said, I need to get my car before I go to Germany. And I need to get my body done before I go to Germany. So with both of those being said, I have a GoFundMe down below. You don't have to donate if you don't want to. It's not life-threatening. A bitch can still live if you guys donate or don't. Because I don't want you guys to be like... Oh my god, like, she be talking shit about people with GoFundMe's, but now she made one up. No, this is not needed. It's wanted, but it's not needed, whore. So, um, let me get started. I'm going to prime my face with the YSL Touche Eclat Blur Primer. That's what it looks like up close. Oh my god, you guys are going to ask about this ring, huh? Um, I got my ring back from Titus. It's not what you guys think it is. I just been crying like a little baby over it so he gave it back to me. So we're gonna get into this BBL. And if I'm talking really fast, excuse me, because I only have 15 minutes because YouTube wanna be a little bitch. So I only got 15 minutes to talk shit. So you guys always tell me, every time I say I'm gonna get a BBL, y'all be like, no, um, your body looks fine. Y'all do not know what my body look like. My body look like shit, okay? When I say when God was giving up booties. He skipped me like he skipped me like five times. And honestly, I think it might be genetics. I honestly think that I have um white and black in me. That's what I really think. I think my mom is probably Hispanic and my dad was probably white or something. But with that being said, thumbs up this video for an ancestry video. Mm -hmm. Um with that being said, I ain't got no ass. And this day and age, it's hard to survive without an ass because social media will literally remind you every day that you have no ass. So I am, um, where's my beauty blender? Yeah, so with that being said, I'm gonna go with my little dirty ass. Let me see. Ooh, ooh. Okay. I'm gonna go with this, um, Becca foundation. Oh! Alright, so I started doing my research and I am lost in the sauce. If you guys don't know, about a couple of months ago, I entered Jay Majette's BBL giveaway. And I kind of already knew it was too good to be true. And she canceled it, so, you know, I mean, whatever reason it was, whatever, I don't give a fuck. But, um, so I guess someone died at Edez, Miami. And now they have changed their name from Edez, Miami to Imanez. Im Some shit. Imagine this. That's what, if you type it in on Instagram, it'll pop up. Imagine it's something, but I think it's pronounced Imanes. I don't know. So, the actual name Imanes has been up, I think, for like 15 years in Miami. Because I was looking at their Instagram and they have pictures like dated really back. So, I guess they bought it as Miami and now they are basically like having specials for BBLs, breast augmentations, and mommy makeovers um, with the doctors, Dr. Hassan, Dr. Fisher, and Dr. Vows. Now, I was going to go with Dr. Hassan because if you guys go on YouTube and y'all search them, y'all will see that Dr. Hassan has some great patients here on YouTube. So, magically, you know, I'm talking to the lady, whatever. She's telling me Dr. Hassan has a special right now for $5,500 for BBL. It includes massages, shit like that. Dr. Vals has a special for $4,500 and Dr. Fisher has a special for... And Dr. Fisher has a special for $6,500. Now, um, I was initially going to book with Hassan because of the things that I've seen on YouTube. But then one of my subscribers hit me up and she was like, um, no, bitch, do not go to him. And she sent me pictures of her body. Now, her name is Jessica. Hey, girl. And I want to give her a special shout out because her story is, like, crazy. Like, it's inspiring. Like, she went to get a BBO and she got burned really bad by the light bulb. Now, uh, um, I feel really bad because when she sent me the pictures, even though she doesn't know me, I started crying, y'all. Like, why am I crying? And I, I don't even know this girl. Like, she has a big-ass 
burn. It looks like a hole in her, like, oh, why am I looking over here? It looks like a hole in her stomach, and it's, it's, it's sad, like, I feel so bad for her, and I'm, I'm just surprised that she just, she has so much courage, and she's brave enough to tell her story. She has an Instagram page, but I don't want to announce it, because she doesn't want everybody in her business, but she was just telling me, like, to be careful and shit, so I just decided I'm not going to go with Dr. Son, and I'm going to go with Dr. Fisher now. The people that coordinate the thing, the BBL, they might be upset because I um I initially said Dr. Hassan, and then I changed, no, I initially said Dr. Alvarez, then I changed it to Dr. Hassan, and now I'm going to change it to Dr. Fisher. Hopefully they're not too mad. Um, I don't think Dr. Fisher has any deaths or whatever, but the negative part is I've seen some people that he's done, and they look like they need more light bulb, and then I've seen some people that he's done, and it looks like ass sitting on like 30s, like big old booty so i don't really know exactly what i'm gonna do but with that being said before i do go to germany i need to get both done um i'm not gonna lie to you guys you guys are probably gonna think this is really shallow but if it's between me getting my my body done and a car i'm gonna get my body done and the car can wait you know what i mean so i do have a go me down below for y'all that do want to help a bitch out okay <laughs> um so for you to get like a consultation for like bbl you need to send like send pictures in and I was taking pictures of like my body, bro, and like I fucking hate it. Now I know some of y'all gonna be like, go to the gym, do squats. Squats can only like tone your ass. Squats will not give you a fat ass butt. And please do not comment down below trying to argue with me because it's a lot of white girls out here that lift weights like crazy, that exercise like crazy, that are in weight competitions and they don't got no ass. So I'm decided to go through with this. It's my decision. And I just really want you guys to support. If you guys have any BBL um, warnings y'all want to give me, y'all better comment down below. Let me know. Um, also, besides that, they have something called hip implants. I would never get it. I really wouldn't. But I just want to let you guys know that a lot of these YouTubers that you guys wonder, like, hey, how did she get this big old booty? Or how the bitch, there's hip implants. And I didn't even know you could do that, but... Yes, you can get implants in your hips to make you look thicker. So, I've been seeing a lot of crazy shit when it comes to BBLs. Initially, I was going to go to, um, what's that she called? DR. I was going to go to, um, either, what's her name? Y Yilly or Dr. Durant. But, like, really, y'all, people are dying out there. Like, bitches is dying in Miami. Not Miami, I'm sorry. Miami, too, but people are dying. Now, another thing, when it comes to BBLs, I don't know if y'all know if y'all ever tried to get a like a, a quote or something like that. They really don't know for sure your medical history. Like they literally ask you, and they just have to believe what you tell them. So a lot of the females or like situations that you know females end up losing their lives is probably because they're not telling the truth. Now, um, I don't know how I would feel if I told them like you know, hey, I had an abortion when I was 16. And they told me I couldn't get, I don't know, a BBL. I would probably fucking cry. But it is what it is. So, a lot of you guys, you know, I don't know if you had to put that into consideration. Another thing, I think we be forgetting that, like, with every surgery, there's a risk. Like, if you don't know, I had, got, I got my teeth done. I have veneers. Let me show you guys. I have veneers. I have my top eight. Is it eight or six? Uh, 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 uh. I got my top six teeth done. It was for free because I'm in the military. In the civilian world, veneers cost a thousand a tooth. And also on top of veneers, I have my eye, my eye vision, eye vision. I have my vision corrected. I had PRK, which is a, basically a laser eye surgery. So with heavy surgery, there are complications. Like I know people that have veneers, and their fucking teeth like falls out, like look like big ass chicklets, you know what I mean? Like, so basically, when I got these two things done, I accepted the risk for what it was. My teeth, girl, you could've fucked that up. But when it comes to veneers, you literally, like, they take all your, like, they shave your tooth all the way down. So there's no saving your tooth once they sh shave your, your napple down, you know what I mean? And the same for your eyes. You don't want to play with your, your eyes, but that's your, your vision, you know what I mean? So I took that risk and anything could happen. I could've went blind. Anything can happen, but I think sometimes we forget that, and sometimes when we watch like when we watch the news or we see news articles of people dying from like BBLs, we're just quick to like you know attack 
the doctor or like you know you don't know how the doctor feel like I don't think doctors wake up like hey um I'm about to do this BBL I just want to kill this bitch like I don't think they you know so when we when y'all you know bully doctors on social media don't forget they're like they're humans too you know what I'm saying so I want to get my BBL done in probably like September 1st uh, I'm waiting for them to email me back so I can just put down this deposit on um Dr. Fisher and I'm back um you guys keep asking me when am I going to Germany I'm going in the beginning of next year I will be having a meet and greet in probably Miami New York and probably Colleen, Texas. I'm not too sure. So please do me a favor, you guys, and shout out the state that you are down. The, shout out the state that you are from down below. And if you are from the state that's commented, please thumbs it up. And the state with the most, thumb, most thumbs up, I will go to. So yeah, girl. Y'all, I've been chilling. Y'all, I've just been trying to make these wigs, trying to sell these wigs. I gotta tell you about this AliExpress company that blew my shit. Like, this AliExpress company, I'm, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I get so much hair that I don't honestly remember the fucking name of the company. But they sent me some hair, right? And it was black and it was curly. So I said, you know what? I'm gonna do some red curly hair. I dyed it hair red. And the bitch ain't never curled back. So I'm like, you know what? All right. Then I try to dye the frontal, and the frontal is coming out burgundy. It's not coming out as red as the other ones. You feel me? So, I, I contact them, I'm like, yo, something up with your hair. Like, your hair is not good. Like, I'm not going to make a video to show my people when you got shitty ass hair. So then they're like, oh, please do the video. And I'm like, your hair is not good. I'm not doing the video. These motherfuckers start calling me, harassing me. The hair is damaged, so I can't even send the hair back. Like, what the fuck do you want me to do with this shitty ass mop y'all gave me? Like, well, you guys probably want to go back at this top from. It's a sweater. Got it from Play Doh's. Y'all know I love me some damn Play Doh's. Love me some Play Doh's. You guys, alright, so, so since I'm going to Germany, I already know the barracks ain't gonna look like this. So I started selling literally almost everything. Like, I have to sell my vanity before I go. To somebody in the Clarksville, Tennessee area, if you're in the area and you're interested, comment down below. I have to sell basically everything. Like, majority of my clothes I have to sell or donate. And then I'm probably going to sell my iPad. So I have to sell a lot of stuff. Like, so this is a good time for me to get a BBL. Like, you know what I mean? But I hope you guys don't think it's weird that I made a go for me. Because I really wasn't going to. But one, one day I was on live and this lady was like, um... Can I send you some money? And I'm, you know, I'm like, I'm like, I don't really want to take money from my fucking, like, from my, like, what? I don't want to. Like, it feels, it feels really weird to be on the internet. Like, hey, guys, um, if you guys want to help me pay for my ass, help me. You know what I mean? But then somebody else was like, girl, just make a GoFundMe. Like, I was like, fuck it, I'm going to just make it. I know niggas going to talk shit, but I'll be all right. I'm fixed. But I'm going to apply some mascara and apply some lashes. So I have been coming up with like so many ways of like trying to raise money for this BBL, making wigs, selling my clothes, selling my sneakers. And I also thought about throwing a party. Starting to throw parties because y'all know, if y'all have me on Snapchat, y'all know I be lit as fuck. Always trying to have a good time, always trying to have fun. Always just down to do fun, crazy, freaky things. No, I'm just playing. Always trying to do fun things. So I was just really thinking like, okay, I got a good following. Everybody in Clarksville fucks with me, but some, some little hoes don't fuck with me, but everybody fucks with me. I was thinking about throwing a party. If I throw a party and it's successful, I can make like over a thousand in one night, like dead ass. So I'm really trying to think of ways. So what do you guys think about me throwing parties? Okay, so I had to back you guys up some more just so I could show you guys my ponytail. I bought this ponytail for $15 at my beauty supply. And it's really, 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 really long. If you guys can see. That's actually what I've been wearing. I actually haven't been wearing my my wigs that much because um I don't really have anybody to break my hair. So this is what I've been doing. Act right. Lashes are on, but they're not secured yet. 
Is it this camera or am I fucking looking good? Recently, I've been having a lot of haters. A lot of people have been like, oh my God, when you talk, I can't see your teeth. Y'all wanna see my teeth? Here you go, the fuck, here you go. I didn't know it was that important. You know, I can't help that when I talk, you can't see my damn teeth. Can't help it, that's how I was born. Also, people like to talk about my large nose. Look, I told you out there I got some white in me. So, if my nose is big, oh well. I can't do nothing about it when I can, but I don't care about it that much to want to fix it, okay? So, eat a dick. I'm going to clamp them down. I like to squeeze them. So, to conclude this get ready with me, I want to know who do you guys think I should get as my BBL doctor? So, comment that down below. That is it for my chit chat. Get ready with me today. Hopefully, you guys fuck with me. I love you guys so much. Help a bitch get 50k. By the time y'all see this video, I kind of might be at 50k. But I love you guys so much. And I will see you guys in my story time video. Bye!